What's poppin' Connor High? Today is May 1st, 2019. I'm Abby. And I'm Amaya. And today we will be talking about triathlon skills and Tony Hawk's Law Skateboard. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. In local news, there will be a new triathlon in the Woodlands for newcomers, comers, and for many that will want to get more practice for the next Ironman Triathlon North American Championship in 2020. The event includes open water swim day and first timers clinic co-hosted by the Woodlands Township, which is scheduled for 8 to 11 a.m. Saturday at North Shore Park, 2505 Lake Woodlands Drive, the Woodlands. There is early registration for $15 for ages 13 and up, and if you pay the day of, it will be $20 to enter. Hey, Abby, have you ever been skateboarding? Yeah, I'm basically Tony Hawk. Speaking of Tony Hawk, every early Tuesday came a flourishing amount of reports from the Houston Bush Airport vicinity, but it wasn't because people were running late for their flight. At around 8.30 a.m., Tony Hawk made a tweet saying, quote, I just left my skateboard kind of close to Houston Airport. Finders keepers, if you can figure out where it is, please reply with the hashtag on the grip, it, grip tape if found. Go now and add a cell phone lot at AI, AIHJFK. Just moments later, the Houston airport system tweeted that someone found the skateboard. It turns out that the woman was Melissa Riggs. Came to her surprise, it was actually her birthday. Riggs told KHOU11 she plans to mount the board and place it next to her military awards. She said she'd ride it, but she's not a great skater. Wow, she's a pretty lucky lady. You can say that again. Now for our counselor's corner. Hi, guys. Just a brief note from your counselors. Don't forget, we still want to finish strong. Everything you do still counts. We want to make sure that you pass all of your classes. For students who want to take summer school, we've already started enrolling students into summer school. See your counselor for that. There's information on the Conroe ISD website, so that's conroeisd.net. And there's a summer school page there that shows everything that we offer for summer school. So again, don't forget to finish strong. Everything counts. Thank you. Now for today's weather, the high for today will be 83 degrees and the low will be 71 degrees. With it being partly cloudy, today will, today will be a little bit warmer than yesterday. Taking a look at tomorrow, you can see the high will be 83 and the low will be 67, with it also being partly cloudy. The rest of the week, however, will have a high chance of storms, 4% on Thursday, 6% on Friday, and 4% on Saturday. So make sure you have your umbrella handy. Now for the fact of the day, snails have 14,000 teeth, will be Back with sports report with a quick commercial break. Watch where you're walking, man. There was a time in my life where I was extremely homesick. I decided that I needed a pet. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. He jumped up and kissed me and like jumped right into my arms. I immediately went up to the volunteers at the shelter and said, I want him, like, he's got to come home with me. Not anything but lonely. Every day with turtle is a perfect day and keeps me company when I'm doing schoolwork. I like it when he jumps up on the table, too. He is a veggie thief. He's an incredible companion and my best friend. Can't say that I've met anybody that doesn't love him too. When I adopted Turtle, I discovered all the things that make him unique. He's a little bit of a lot of things, but mostly he's all pure love.
Hey guys, I'm Amir, your sports anchor for today. In NBA, in NBA news, there was some controversy about the refs in their first game with the Rockets versus Warriors. There has been a clear difference in calls in favor of the Warriors, including the refs admitting missing at least four calls before halftime. That is 12 free throws for the Rockets. Majority of them would be shot by the Rockets' two beast free throw shooters. The Rockets lost 100 to 104. Nuggets beat Portland by 121 to 113, with Jockett scoring 37 points. Texas tight end Ryan Griffin has been arrested for drunkly punching out a window of Nashville, Tennessee. As a city host, the NFL draft, now for the quote of the day. I never worry about the problem, I worry about the solution, said Shaquille O'Neal. And now we'll take it back to our anchors for some announcements. KTIG News will once again be live streaming from the red carpet at prom. Make sure to tune in on May 10th to see your friends get to prom, or if you're going, make sure to tell your parents. The live stream starts at 7.30 and can be found on our website at ktignews.com. Next Wednesday, May 8th, juniors will be taking the U.S. History Star. Good luck. Relay for Life is going to be Friday, May 3rd at the fairgrounds to raise money for the American Cancer Society and to celebrate the lives of both cancer survivors and their caregivers. Coach Snee will be signing his album on stage, and Ms. Moochie, who is a four-time cancer survivor, will be this year's guest speaker. There will be food, prizes, a bounce house, and free giveaways. The cheerleaders will be there to entertain and lead the fun. Contact Ms. Muhi in the annex for more information. Those are all the announcements that we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTIG News on all social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, come on high school. Start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more KTIG News. I was thinking about you for some time. You the gold, baby, I can't find another kind. All that fighting that you do, in the end, you'll be